Welcome to Training for Process Instrumentation. My name is Dieter Haas. In this tutorial, Citron's FS230 basic commissioning, you will learn how to wire up and to do a basic commissioning of a Citron's FS230. The FS230 consists of a FST030 transmitter, the FSS200 sensors and the cable in between. The mounting track for the sensors is already mounted on the pipe. In the pipe flows water. Let's start with the FST030 transmitter. On the nameplate you can see the order code, technical data, input and output setup of the channels. Below is the QR code which will guide you to manuals, how to install videos and additional information. Here is the DSL, Digital Sensor Link. At the DSL we will wire up the sensor cables. The DSL digitizes the ultrasonic signal at the earliest stage of measurement for a strong signal to noise ratio with a 100 Hz high speed update rate. Here we have the large full graphical local display. You can turn it easily. The sensor flash stores all settings, calibration data and certificates. I.O. channels. The configuration of the I.O. channels is on the nameplate of the transmitter and you can see it here on the nameplate inside the cover. Configuration of this FST-030. Channel 1 can be connected as active or passive 4 to 20 milliamp hard current output. Channel 2 can be programmed as current frequency or pulse output. Channel 3 relay output. Channel 4 no functionality. Channel 5 and 6 are inputs for RTD temperature sensors. The FST-030 has a universal power supply, 20 to 27 volt DC or 100 to 240 volt AC. The connector is behind the protection cover. With the keys down and up, you can switch between the different operator views. The LED confirms the successful operation of the key. If the LED is on for a longer time, the keys are calibrated and cannot be operated. We press key right, select access level, choose user. The default pin code is 2, 4, 5, 7. Now we are in the main menu. On the top right hand side, you can see the number of the highlighted item. The first place I want to go is Quick Start and it will guide me into Quick Commissioning. And the next place is Sensor Settings. We start Wizard. We set up Units. I just want to show you the main important units. From the factory it is set up in millimeter and degree Celsius. Maybe it is for you more familiar in inches and Fahrenheit. I hit the right key and you can choose feet, meters, inches, centimeters, millimeters. I want to keep millimeters and hit the left key and leave the menu without saving changes. Let us have a look at temperature. Here you also have different possibilities. The mostly used will be degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. I want to keep Celsius and hit the key left. Then I go down where it says next. That is going to bring me to pipe settings. We have pipe glass, which offers you different pre-programmed pipe sizes depending on the pipe material you want to use. 
If you want to use carbon steel ASA inside of here, you can see different ranges of pipe sizes you can choose from. We leave the many without savings and choose custom. We have the choice between auto diameter plus wall thickness versus circumference plus wall thickness. We take auto diameter plus wall thickness. If you need to measure the wall thickness, Siemens offers the wall thickness gauge. So, for this situation, I already know the auto pipe diameter 26. 0.9 millimeters. And the wall thickness 2.4 millimeter. I take the pipe material, stainless steel, and it's going on summarize on the next screen. Or the pipe diameter, wall thickness. I hit next and it's doing some calculations. If your pipe has a liner, you would go in this step. This is a stainless steel pipe without liner. We go no. Disturbed flow. There is no disturbed flow on this particular setup. However, if there was an upstream abstraction or downstream abstraction, we might want to enter this, but we will bypass this for now. Sensor selection, yes. The next step is the sensor type. You are going to have four choices here. The FSS 200 are the sensors we supply now. We offer three different types of it. The high precision. Sensor works with the wide beam technology and is for steel and carbon steel pipes. The universal and the high temperature. And then we have some legacy choices. So in other words, if you are using this transmitter with an existing set of sensors that are already on your pipe, it leads to be a 1011 high precision, 991 high temperature, or 1011 universal. You have different applications and maybe already sensors. You want to check for what applications you can use it. Take the FS200 sizing software. Like during ordering a Citrans FS230, you must describe the application. Product, liquid or gas, pipe material, pipe outside diameter, wall thickness and product temperature. Based on this information, the best sensor is chosen. In this application, it is high precision B1H sensor. We have a Citrans FSS 200 B1H sensor and this I will enter now. This brings us to another summary screen. The spacing offset for this pair of sensors is nominal, the length of cable I enter 1.5 meters. Then I'm going to hit next. Medium settings. This is the liquid inside our pipe. Water 20 degrees Celsius. Now a summary screen is coming showing the expected sound velocity, process temperature, process viscosity, process density, and we can hit next. And now this is what brings us to configure path. You always must select one of the paths, the one that you are working on to install now. We have path one to highlight and go down to save settings. We take path one, it's doing some calculation and it's telling us the geometry for mounting the sensors on the pipe. Reflect two traverses. Hit the key. 
And it's going to calculate the recommended mounting method, track 10, 12, T and H, and the recommended spacing index, 11. This is where the sensors on the track should be positioned. Mount the sensors accordingly. Prepare the pipe surface, decrease if necessary, and remove any grit, corrosion, rust, loose paint, etc. We need a clean surface for the sensor. The recommended mounting track was 1012 TNH reflect mode. For training reason, we mounted on the other side of the pipe the track for direct mode. Index pins are used as stops against each sensor. Inserted at a reference hole for one sensor and a number index hole for the other sensor. The recommended spacing index is 11. Check that both sensors have the same serial number. Take both sensors and do the coupling compound at the center of the sensor emitting surface. Slide the sensor into the mounting track with the F connector facing outside. Stop at the sensor pin, push the sensor down to the pipe, tighten the sensor clamping screw, to hold the sensor firmly in place and repeat the procedure with the other sensor. I screw the F connector and adapter on the sensor. and repeat the procedure for the other sensor. Both sensors are connected to the cable. Additional information you find in the Citrans FSS 200 installation manual. Flow is in this direction. This is the downstream, this is the upstream sensor. How to connect the upstream sensor cable to the FST030 is shown on the sticker. We have commissioned path 1. The A is for the upstream sensor. Therefore, we must take the cable to port 1A. To connect the cable to the digital sensor link, we take the F connector tool and screw it on the cable glance. Afterwards, we connect the downstream cable to 1B. Both sensor cables are connected. Path 1 is mounted. And this is the frequency sweep, so it just did the initial setup routine. And if you want to see what our signal looks like, receive a signal. And that's our signal. It looks good. If I change the position of the sensor, it looks not that nice. Back to the proper position. I hit the left key and leave the window. Another wizard is the zero point adjustment. It is not mandatory. We must stop the flow, take the standard value, 30 seconds. Although the device zero is very stable from the factory, 
the user has the ability to remove any residual zero offset that may exist by performing the zero point adjustment. And performed successfully. Results are shown. Let's go down to Finish. And we are back in Sensor Settings. And choose Next. Wizard is finished. Press the right key, press the left key and stay on it. And we are back in the fuse. You can program the device through the glass too. Zero cubic meters flow. Let's start the pump. By turning the valve, I can change the flow. You can see the fast response and excellent repeatability. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Siemens Ingenuity for Life.